There are many smartphones on the market that journalists and others can use to record, edit and share material. In this video, I'm going to share with you a number of tips that could help your recordings look and sound better. Here at the BBC, many of our journalists are using iPhones. And while this film looks at those devices in particular, a lot of the principles apply whichever smartphone you're using. So, whether you're using an Android, a Windows phone or an iPhone, this first point is particularly important. Firstly, make sure your lens is clean. Use your shirt or a tissue, but often glasses cloth is best. You need to make sure your phone is in airplane mode before you start recording. Going into airplane mode is really important because it stops your device receiving a phone call. If it can get one while you're filming, it will interrupt you and you may not get a second chance to record. Video files can get very large very quickly, so check in your settings how much space you have available. Ideally, try to have at least half of your device's capacity spare. You can record more if you can reduce the resolution of your video. On some devices, this is just a case of going into your settings and dropping the resolution down. If your footage is for TV or online, then you'll want to record it horizontally. Indeed, for the BBC's news gathering app PNG, that's the only orientation it will support. But vertical framing is increasingly accepted and acceptable on smartphones but the resulting footage is not so useful for the BBC's purposes. The phone will automatically adjust the focus and exposure based on what's in the scene, but you can get better results by taking control. Tap the screen to adjust the focus and exposure. Press and hold to lock in those settings. You'll see AE AF lock displayed to confirm this. You can also move your finger up and down the screen to tweak the exposure even more precisely. Most smartphones will give you the option to zoom while you're recording your video, but this will degrade the picture quality, so it's usually much better to get closer to what you want to film as long as it's safe to do so. If necessary, you can turn the light on when you're recording video, but be aware this will drain your battery quite considerably. If you're out and about shooting handheld without a tripod, a good way to ensure a stable shot is to bring your arms close in tight against your body. Or, if there's something suitable, lean against it to ensure that your shot is stable. And once there, keep filming each shot for about 10 to 15 seconds. On some phones, you can record video and take a photo at the same time. Here, tap the white circle in the bottom right hand corner. If you ever need to record a piece to camera using the front facing camera, make sure you look at the lens and not the screen to ensure you have the correct eye line. Getting good audio is vital for your video. The inbuilt microphone on most smartphones will be fine for ambient sound, but the closer you get to a guest or an interviewee, the better the audio will be. If you can, go somewhere quieter, or even ask the guest to speak a bit louder. Outdoors, wind noise can also pose something of a challenge. You can overcome many of these problems or challenges by using an external plug-in microphone or a clip microphone. This will give you much better audio, as long as you are using a mic with the right kind of connector. A cheaper alternative, or emergency standby, could be to use the microphone on your headphones that come supplied with most smartphones. Plug that in, and then you can use this microphone to get better audio and good framing. Bear in mind though, we took something of a risk here by plugging in the microphone after we'd started recording. It's usually far better to plug your microphone in first and then launch your video recording app. Make sure you know where the microphone is that records audio when you're recording video. On the iPhone, it's between the lens and the light. But whichever device you're using, find out where it is, but don't cover it with your hands. You have another couple of options when you're recording video. You could record slow motion videos and also 
time lapses. If you're a BBC journalist, the preferred way to record, edit and send your video is to use the internal only app, PNG, Portable News Gathering. Using PNG will ensure you've got the correct frame rate for broadcast too. You could then save and file your recording directly into the newsroom systems. To take a shorter clip from your video, use the trim controls to isolate the area that you want to keep and then save as a new clip. The shorter the video, the quicker it will be to send. When you're happy with your footage and are ready to share or send it, tap the box with the forwarding arrow to reveal the options available to you. Email is a simple way to send short pieces of video direct to colleagues back in the newsroom. Another option would be to upload your content straight to social networks or onto a cloud service. BBC journalists are currently using a number of third-party apps which can increase the quality of their video recordings and other apps with which they can edit fully mixed packages. A smartphone has the potential to be a mobile news gathering device in your pocket. Explore, practice and get comfortable with many of these techniques and you'll soon be able to record and share great material.